Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and to a brand new video. So in today's video, I am making lasagna. Now you've seen me make lasagna a few times before, but the reason I'm making it again for this video is I'm trying out a new little appliance um, that I've been sent out to try. So I have been sent out very kindly this electric hob. Now this is by Karinia, can you see? And yeah, they've sent me this out. They did give me a choice between different ones. There was one that had like multiple ones, but I just chose the one that has the one. Um, sorry about the lighting. So this is first of all, super lightweight. Like it is so, so light. Um, I can't actually believe how light it actually is. And yeah, this is what the whole thing looks like. And it just comes with the cord. You just plug this in, it is electric. And yeah, you can just, Take this away with you if you need to, or you can just use it at home like I will be doing. So the reason why I really did want to try this out is because sometimes when I'm cooking something and I'm over by the hob area, the lighting is terrible and I just hate it, but I've got no choice. But I was thinking maybe if I really want to cook something that requires me cooking on the hob, I can literally stand right here in front of all these windows with natural lighting and yeah it'll just show um the food so much better when i'm cooking right here so um i have actually used this for the lasagna which you're going to see today well for the bolognese mix basically and yeah it's really impressive i want to show you how easy it is to use this honestly um i didn't even look at the booklet there was no need because all the functions are on the front here and they are pretty self-explanatory and you don't you don't get stuck believe me so yeah we're just going to make some bolognese sauce today using this electric hob by Carinier, and they have um kindly given me a discount code as well so what i'll be doing is leaving all the details in the description along with the link and the discount code and yeah you can use it if it's something that you've wanted but i have honestly been wanting one of these for ages and I'm just so lucky that they reached out to me and offered me one for free, of course. So let's get into today's video. Like I say, you've seen me make lasagna before, but I promise you, none of my lasagna recipes are all the same. It all depends on what ingredients I have in the house and things like that, but it turned out delicious anyway. So let's get straight into it. So first up, we are going to switch this hob on. So you just press the on button. And then with this function button, you can choose between all of the different options that you have. So as you can see, we've got roast, stir fry, we've got fast heat, melt, simmer, steam, boil and fry. I'm just gonna keep going till I get to fry because that's the option I want to use. And then over here, you can turn the temperature up and on the left, you can um, put it down. So I'm just gonna put it kind of in the middle and then we're gonna start cooking. So it says that this hob is actually suitable for all different types of pans. So I'm going to use a very large pan today just to see how the heat distributes across this larger pan. So I've just sprayed it with some oil. I'm adding in my mince of choice. You can add any mince that you like. I've just browned that off slightly for around 10 minutes. And now we are going to start to add in some more ingredients. So I'm starting off by adding a whole onion that I've just minced in my handy chopper, which you probably have seen in my previous video. Then we're just going to mix these two ingredients together uh, for around five or so minutes. And next I am going to add in two small bell peppers, a yellow and a green one. Again, I just minced it really finely in the chopper. Now we're just going to mix everything together for another 10 minutes or so. And then once we've done that, we are going to start seasoning. So I'm going to be adding lots of different seasonings, but of course you can keep it simple if you want to. So starting off with this um, sachet. So this is actually just a mixture of spices already mixed up for you. So I'm adding that, I'm adding some oregano. We're going in with some salt. I'm adding some mixed herbs. We've got paprika. I'm going in with some chili flakes. I've got Italian herbs. And then I'm going to mix that all together. And don't worry, I'm going to list all of the ingredients down below um, if you did miss it and I went too quick. So I'm just going to cook everything off together for a little bit longer and just let all those spices infuse. Then I'm adding in one stock cube. This is a veggie stock cube. Then I'm squeezing in a little bit of tomato puree. 
I forgot to add some black pepper, so that's now going in. And then we're just going to, again, give everything a quick mix around. So once you've done this for around 10 minutes or so and everything's looking like it's pretty much cooked, I'm adding in a whole carton of passata. And then I like to fill it up around quarter of the way um, with water. Add that in as well. Give everything a quick mix around. And now I'm just going to switch to the simmer setting on this um, hob. I also forgot to mention that I did actually switch to stir fry just a little bit earlier. I just forgot to mention it. But now I'm just going to move it on to the simmer function. I'm going to let this simmer away for around 20 to 25 minutes and then we'll come back. So now that this has been simmering away nicely, it has thickened slightly and it's perfect. So I do like to garnish at the very end with some fresh coriander. You don't have to. Just mix that in really quickly and my bolognese mix is completely done. So let's assemble. So I'm going to be making my lasagna in this glass baking dish. So I'm just going to start by adding the bolognese sauce to the bottom. Just cover it completely, just spread it all out. And then I'm going to add on two lasagna sheets. Then I don't really like to make the white sauce. I much prefer using cream cheese or soft cheese. And honestly, I just love the taste of it. And then we're just going to continue to layer until we get to the very top. And this is my personal favorite because it's where I can add lots and lots of cheese. So I decided to go on with a mixture of grated cheddar and grated mozzarella. You can, of course, add any cheese of your choice. And then I'm just going to cover this with some foil and pop it into the air fryer oven. And I'm just going to let it bake for around 40 minutes. And then I do take the foil off for the last 10 minutes or so. And we'll come back when the lasagna is completely done. So this is what my lasagna looked like once it was completely cooked. It was super golden brown on the top. It was crispy around the edges. The cheese had all melted. And then I just portioned this out into four equal pieces and it was time to plate up. And honestly, guys, you can't really go wrong with lasagna. It's always delicious. I do have a few recipes on my channel, but honestly, if it's something that you like the look of, then maybe give it a try and let me know how you liked it. And there you go, guys. That is how I made the bolognese mix using my new Carinet electric hob. As you saw, it was super simple to use the functions. You literally just press the buttons. And like I said, it is super light, so it's perfect if you're going away. I could even use this in the garden in the summertime if I don't want to cook inside with it being too hot. I could do it in the garden, which would be so ideal. And yeah, it's just a perfect little appliance. I'm just gonna keep this in my cupboard for whenever I need it. And like I mentioned at the start, if there's any time I don't wanna cook at the hob because of the lighting, then I can just do it all over here, right in front of my window. So yeah, that brings me to the end of this video. Like I said, I will leave everything linked below. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you all really soon in my next one.